There are rooms that seem okay, but you feel something just doesn't look right, or it feels unfinished, yet you can't quite figure out what it is, especially when the furniture layout seems fine. In this video, we're going to talk about one part of the decorating process, adding accessories. I'll give you five key accessories that are often present to make the design look complete, and I'll also give you seven basic rules for placing accessories, so that next time you'll know immediately what you need and which accessories to place. Let's get started. Here are the five key accessories that you can use to enhance your room. Although I may not use all five, every time at least four are always in play because they really bring a room together. Here they are, plants, artwork, throw pillows, a decorative tray, and something personal. Let's break it down. Plants. They add color, texture, and a touch of nature, making them a must-have. Aim for at least two in a room, a tall one and a smaller tabletop plant. Don't worry if you're not great with plants. High-quality fake ones work just as well. Artwork. Choose pieces that tie the room's colors together. They don't have to match perfectly but should complement the overall color scheme. Decorative tray. A tray with three items can transform a space. It could be on your coffee table, nightstand, or buffet. Think a stack of books, a candle, and a small plant. Throw pillows. They're great for adding color or pattern. I always mix up the pillows on sofas and beds to add extra flair. Something personal. This could be a framed photo or a keepsake. It's about making the space uniquely yours. Now that you know the five key accessories, let's go to the rules. These seven golden rules of accessorizing are a guide to help you decorate like a pro. They give you a basic structure for decorating any part of your home. Rule number one, grouping similar items. When you're accessorizing a space, think about grouping items that have something in common. This could be their color, theme, or purpose. For instance, if you're decorating a console table, you might gather items from around your home that are all blue or have a maritime theme. This method brings a sense of intention and harmony to your decor. Imagine a seaside-themed room where you group shells, a piece of driftwood, and a photo of the beach together. It tells a story and creates a focal point. Rule number two, using odd numbers in groupings. Odd numbers, especially groups of three, are visually more appealing. When you arrange three items, place the tallest at the back to create depth. For instance, on a mantelpiece, you could have a tall vase, a medium-sized candle, and a small stack of books. By varying the heights, you create a dynamic look that draws the eye. This rule helps in creating a balance without making the decor look too uniform or staged. Rule number three, varying the scale of accessories. It's important to mix up the sizes of items you're using. If everything is the same size, your space can look flat and uninteresting. Try placing a small plant on a stack of books next to a larger lamp. This rule creates visual interest and depth. For example, on a coffee table, a large bowl, a medium-sized photo frame, and a small trinket can work together without any item overpowering the others. Rule number four, incorporating books. Books are incredibly versatile and can be used in almost any setting. They add color, height, and an element of personal interest. You can use them in a study to create an intellectual ambiance or in a living room for a cozy feel. Books on a coffee table about travel or photography, for example, can spark conversations among guests. They are also a great tool for layering. You can place a small vase or an ornament top a stack of books to create height. Rule number five, reflecting accent colors. Repeating colors from your room's color scheme in your accessories helps to tie the room together. For example, if blue and green are your main colors, having blue cushions, green vases, and artwork that includes these colors can create a cohesive look. This repetition of color weaves a visual connection throughout the space, making it feel thoughtfully put together. Rule number six, including elements from nature. Adding natural elements can bring an organic and calming feel to your space. This could be a vase of fresh flowers, a bowl of stones, or a bamboo plant. These elements add a touch of the outdoors and can be very soothing. In a bathroom, for instance, a small potted plant or a bowl of seashells can create a spa-like atmosphere. Rule number seven, using formal symmetry. Symmetry brings a sense of order and elegance. This is particularly effective on mantles, shelves, or tables. Placing two identical lamps on either side of a sofa, or the same vases on both ends of a mantelpiece, creates a balanced, harmonious look. It's a classic approach that works well in more formal or traditional settings. If you found these tips and ideas helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content like this.